Welcome to day eight of our 23 Days with God series. Today we're going to be considering God's infinitude. My name is Mike Gabs, and I'm the Director of Safety and Security here at Chapel Street. Before we begin, let's prepare our hearts and minds by taking a look at God's Word. Another passage to consider is Isaiah 55, 8 to 9, which says, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, declares the Lord. As the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. Infinitude means limitlessness. God is limitless and knows no bounds. God is greater than anything the mind can conceive. He is greater than all language, and no statement can express him. He is so much more than us in every way. God's infinitude is just one example of an attribute of God that we cannot fully grasp, as we are certainly limited in every way. Just because we can't fully grasp it, though, doesn't mean it isn't worth considering. We should consider his infinitude and cling to the parts that have been revealed and that we can understand. If we unpack the word infinite, we can see that it is often not used correctly or with full accuracy. It has been used to mean much or a great deal. Properly, the word can only be used to describe God and not any created thing. God being infinite means he is measureless. To measure something is actually setting a limit or an imperfection and cannot apply to God. So it would be impossible to measure his knowledge or power, for example. At this point, we should again remember that our limited minds can't fully grasp God's attributes. And his limitlessness is a great example of this. Our time is probably better spent focusing on what has been revealed to us than what has not been revealed. We can start this by knowing that God is God and we are not. We can all probably think of current or past life situations that didn't make sense to us. We could think of these as things that God knows the reasons for, but that not, have not been revealed to us. For me, I would love to know the full plan of why my son Luke developed autism. This has not been fully revealed. What has been revealed is God's love through other people who care for him. And how Luke has touched many lives and changed their life's direction. And how God has worked through Luke to change my heart and help me love others more, especially those with a disability or with special needs. So some things have been have not been made known to us, but much has been. And this is great news for us. God's nature is infinite, and everything that derives from his nature is infinite too. There is the concept of time. Since God is not constrained by time, we are free to more easily focus on the big picture, knowing him and the promise of eternal life for those who are in Christ. In God, there is life enough for all and time enough to enjoy it. God has made known that his mercy and love are also limitless. As Romans 5.20 states, where sin increased, grace increased all the more. Sin has limits. It is the product of finite hearts and minds. God's mercy and forgiveness is always greater than the human ability to sin. His love for you and for me knows no bounds. In fact, Jesus came, limited himself, and sacrificed himself for us so we could receive all of this. Paul writes in Ephesians 3, I pray that you may be able to comprehend with all the saints what is the length and width, height and depth of God's love, and to know that the Messiah's love that surpasses knowledge so, so you may be filled with all the fullness of God. 
Jesus is the way for all of us to fully experience the infinitude of God. For me, these truths and God's work in my heart have changed who I am. I recently retired from a career in law enforcement after 25 years. I came across a lot of difficult people and I made plenty of mistakes along the way. I can look back on my early career and recognize missed opportunities where I could have better shown some of who God is to others. As I grew in my faith, though, and got a better understanding of God's mercy and love, I was able to show a changed or better heart to others, even difficult people. Of course, this is a constant process for me, but when I can look back and see a changing heart. For today's application, I want to suggest taking a few minutes to ponder and pray about the truth of God's mercy and love being infinite. Remember that He will never give up on us or tire of us despite our sin and failures. Remember that He just wants us to bring those failures to Him so we can receive His forgiveness in Jesus and become more like Him.